Hello and good morning or good afternoon or evening or whatever it is where you are from the Philippines. I had a request from uh, one of my subscribers of which I only have a few so I guess I better respond <laughs> to be polite. He wanted to see where I was living. Now I remember I said that the cost of my condo was about 122 120 to 125 a month depending on the fluctuation of currency um, per month so i would guess in american coin the monthly rent would be approximately 90 to 95 dollars a month 90 to 95 dollars a month us for my two-bedroom condo Don't mind the background noise there's a lot of roosters around here it's a big industry so anyway i'll take you for a little walk up to the place and you can see the outside and then we'll go inside and see the uh the inside of my condo here we go so this is the main building it is about two years old there's going to be some uh noise but I'll try to stay away from it so i don't get a copyright issue so this is it. There are four suites. Two, two suites upstairs, two suites downstairs. One is a one bedroom on each floor and one is a two bedroom on each floor. So we'll go upstairs now and I'll show you the condo. It has all the modern amenities except for, except for hot water is your own problem. See, in the Philippines, they don't do hot water through the tap. If you want hot water, you gotta buy uh, an inline on-demand water heater. That's how you get hot water in the Philippines. But let me tell you, in my experience, and I'm from Canada, it is so warm here that to need hot water is unlikely. And when you have a shower, the water you're getting isn't a Canadian version of cold because the ground water here is kept warm. We are living on a volcano, basically, in the Philippines, so the ground water isn't warm, but it's not like ice-cold water as comes out of a tap in Canada or the US. Here it's about well, 75 degrees, the water, 65 to 75, maybe 80, depending on where you live how close the lines are to the surface of the ground, the sun heating effect in the daytime, things like that. So, anyway, we'll go up and we'll, we'll see the suite. So this is the approach going up. Uh, you've got the stairwell, behind you have storage for the neighbor's bicycle. And we'll go upstairs, switch you around here. That's basically, Concrete construction with all the modern things you'd expect. And this is uh, Asley's little garden that we're growing here. She likes to grow plants. And here we are. And I will give you a quick tour of the place. All right, we have the living room here, basically the kitchen, and there's Asley doing her thing. I'm making coffee. She's making some coffee for us. And we are in the living room, kitchen, which is all one. I would call this thing total ground, square feet around six to 700 square feet. It's not large. The kitchen is, is basic, but you know, it's functional. I mean, if you, if you, if you want to have something that is incredibly American or Canadian and typical, you need to rent a house. That will be about 20,000 pesos. Now the refrigerator is different. In America, you get a fridge. In the Philippines, you buy your own fridge and take it with you. Well, there's your basic Samsung two-door fridge and it costs around $500 to purchase. Uh, the two burner stove there is about, uh, well, what was that? 1,800 pesos. 1,000 pesos would be 25. Uh, around uh, around $45 Canadian, $50, I think, for the stove. 
And you've got your, that's where we keep extra stuff. You've got your kitchen table here, the furniture, couch, and the two chairs brand new were 7,000 pesos. So seven times four would be about $280. And we had a fellow deliver them for very cheap. And here we have the first bedroom, which is our spare bedroom, yeah. where we just keep stuff. And uh, clothes. And that's for my clothing and for her clothing. These I had to buy, much like you buy from Ikea, but it's not Ikea. Bamboo wood. And really solid wood. Nice construction. Nice detail. And they cost, uh, let's see, about $100 each. And I assembled them in about 15 minutes. So this is the first room, first bedroom. And I guess that's about uh, 10 by 12, maybe 9 by 11, something like that. And in here we have your basic washroom. It is a very basic bathroom. You have some plants hanging, and you have your basic facilities. As I say, there's only one tap. So, one tap, modern toilet, and your basic shower. So, no hot water there. I can get one if I want, but I just don't see the point. Uh, then we go into the our main bedroom. Or, uh, yeah, the main bedroom is fine. You got the main bedroom, and I got a fan going because it's kind of a still air day because we have rain coming tonight, but that means no wind. And the bedroom, this is a queen size bed, so you see you have space, and it's it's a good room. There's my air conditioner, which I use maybe two two days a month when it gets really hot and we need really, but not very often. A nice view outside. And yeah, so this is my place. And this place is two years old. It has modern lighting, electrical. It has a tile on the floor, tile floor. It's not vinyl, it's actual tiles made of ceramic. So it's nice and cool, encourages that. Modern windows, modern electric, everything modern. It's a little minimalistic, but hell, that's what we all want, I think, at some point in our life. We don't need more complication and more expense. You know, bigger and better just doesn't cut it at some point. What you want is a bang for your buck. And this place? In the provinces, not in Manila, in the provinces, 15 minutes from town, where it's fairly quiet, but I am in the village center, so there is some noise. Barking dogs, kids playing pool, traffic outside. There's a little bit of noise. But you go that way, five minutes and it's dead quiet, and I can sit out there in the woods in the shade and relax, doesn't matter. So, that's it. I pay $122 a month for this place. What can I tell you? I think I got a good deal. Talk to you later. Bye for now.